What's that? Looks kind of like that dino Time travel is one of the most overused yet intriguing concepts in the world of fiction. Popularized after the release of the post-apocalyptic science fiction novella, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells in 1895, the theory has been in use since the late 19th century. However, the theories had a logical dead end when contradictions like the causal loop and the grandfather paradox arrived, questioning the time-traveling possibilities to the past. Since changing events in the past led to a new destiny, unlike the present, parallel reality realities had to be considered. However, comic book writers did not shy away from the complexities and made no hesitation digging deep into the possibilities of time travel in their storylines. The Hasbro franchise also had its share and showcased time traveling events in their Transformers story arcs. The Cybertronians were a technologically advanced race and had tapped into the means of traveling to the past and future. In today's video, we'll be accounting for the times when the Transformers time traveled. Let's dive right in. But before we get into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. It's a pteranodon, the model for swoop. And Time Travel in Transformers Different Instances of Time Travel in the Transformers Franchise Time travel was used several times in Transformers storylines from different continuities. They showcased individuals and groups moving forward and backward in time, hoping to destroy their enemies or to save their past. They used time jump mechanisms, transwarp devices, or substances such as Or one and Chronogon. There's something on the other side of the warp, and it's coming through! Notable instances of time travel in cartoons and animated films. Transformers cartoons and animated shows from different continuities had their own ways of traversing through time. The Generation 1 cartoon continuity showcased time traveling on more than one occasion. The first instance was in the two-part episode titled Dinobot Island. It was showcased as a natural phenomenon caused by Decepticons during their attempt to steal Energon from Dinobot Island. Suddenly, for reasons unknown, time rifts started appearing throughout the globe and each of them was connected to a specific time period. However, the rift ceased when the stolen Energon was returned to Dinobot Island. The second time such concepts were shown was in Season 2, Episode 24, titled A Decepticon Raider in King Arthur's Court. However, this time it was not because of any unknown natural cause, but a time machine named the Dragon Mound. The machine appeared like a large dome-like structure with a stone circle inside. A wizard named Bjort claimed to have made it to use as a time transporter. It was discovered by both Autobots and Decepticons during one of their battles. Once a strip of ruins on the dome's walls was touched, it sent travelers inside the dome to the Arthurian period of 6th century England. However, after a dragon took shelter in the dome, the wizard was unable to use the machine. Later, Shockwave and Megatron made a machine that they named the Chronosphere. The Chronosphere could send beings back through time rather than allowing them to arrive at their chosen time. It was showcased in Transformers Season 2, Episode 43, titled War Dawn. The device had a large green platform made of laminating disc-like constructions, and the traveler needed to stand on the topmost disc. The device was destroyed, however, during the battle. The Quintessons also made their time-traveling device, which they named the Time Window. It was showcased in Season 3 of the Transformers animated series. Autobots Rekgar, Blur, and Blaster, after being attacked by Quintessons, and ships pass through the time window, which the Quintessons had activated to get their subject from 11 million years in the past. At the destination, the same window appeared during the activated state of the time window. It was explained that the device emitted the fatal chronal energy, which, if left unchecked, could cause time aberrations. The Autobots were drawn to the Quintessons in the first place following the reading for chronal energy. Wings Universe also showcased time traveling in their cartoons. They were known for their mild alterations from the Generation 1 continuity both in terms of appearance and story. In the episode titled Hoist the Flag, a crew of pirates going by the name Starseeker designed the transwarp device with the help of the engines of the tidal wave that could make them time travel. They intended to travel to the future at the time when Cybertron was at peace and possessed a higher amount of energy for them to steal. However, they ended up far ahead in the year 2984, when Cybertron no longer ran on energy and was a techno-organic planet. While the Starseekers fought the Cybertronian Knights, Hunter was drawn into the portal by Unicron. Upon Unicron, 
Omicron's urging, he touched the Matrix of Conquest, becoming Shokorakt. The recent trailers for the upcoming Transformers movie titled Beast Wars have indeed given us the picture of the Cybertronians disguised in the form of animals, but they are yet to reveal that they were from the future. During the era of these Cybertronians, traveling through time was a regular event. Their ships were equipped with transwarp devices that could create wormholes in different time zones. Megatron sought to use the device to transport his crews to the point in time before the Autobots and Decepticons were active on Earth. He wished to kill Optimus Prime in his dormant state on the Ark. His plans were ultimately thwarted by Optimus Primal and his crew of Maximals. The 3H comics brought in the continuity of Beast Wars. Following Megatron's victory in conquering Cybertron, Primal Prime and his team arrived from post-Beast Wars prehistoric Earth through a time-traveling portal. War for Cybertron showcased a dark timeline where Unicron reformatted Optimus Prime and Megatron into Nemesis Prime and Galvatron. The two sought to defeat Unicron by finding the past versions of their spark and using it to kill him. For this, Galvatron traveled back in time to guide Megatron through the dead universe before Unicron found him. Galvatron and Nemesis manipulated a Predacon Megatron to steal the golden disc and hand it over to a Megatron from the past. Notable Instances of Time Travel in Comics The comics also had plenty of stories based on time travel. Marvel's The Transformers comics showcased time-traveling technology available to both the Autobots and the Decepticons. It was first shown in Transformers UK issues 199 to 205, falling under the Time Wars storyline. The plot revolves around a time rift that had destroyed planet Quintesson and was on its way to consume Earth and Cybertron. Analyzing the source of the rift, Autobot scientists from 2009 did reduced it to be from the year 1989. Meanwhile, the Decepticons were on their way to deplete Earth of all its energy, but were stopped by the Autobots. Following the distress signal from 1989, Rodimus Prime and a small group of Autobots traveled backwards in time. However, the Decepticons were furious about their foiled plan and followed the Autobots to the past. The issue showcased different sorts of time-traveling devices. The devices were in the shape of everything from a modern art sculpture to a trans-time dimensional in the form of a door-shaped hole in the wall. The 1986 Ladybird Books from the Ladybird Books continuity showcased a story where Galvatron from the 21st century traveled back to the 80s and took over Megatron. The Dinobot War was also themed on the idea of time travel, where Decepticons intended to go to the past and destroy the Autobots while they lay dormant in the Ark. Since Dinobot War was a multi-pathway adventure, there were two methods to return to the present. The first was using the same time sphere, and the second was to freeze oneself before reaching the destination. In G.I. Joe vs. the Transformers, Teletran 3 was shown to be accidentally transporting a few Cybertronians through a wormhole technology. The 2005 IDW continuity also showcased time travel achieved by various means by various Transformers. Shockwave developed the first and earliest. In the Transformer Robots in Disguise comic series, issue 10, titled Syndromica 2, Shockwave was shown to be developing an artificial energon deviation known as OR-1 as part of the Regenesis experiment. When OR-1 was introduced to the planet LV-117, it began causing time-bending effects, sending the planet back and forth in time. Later in the issue, titled Interference Pattern, Decepticon Turmoil managed to harvest the ore on Shockwave's orders and enslave the inhabitants of the planet to create a time machine capable of moving their ship to their desired point in the past. Later, in Transformers More Than Meets the Eye, issue 38, the Autobot weapon designer Brainstorm built a time machine so that he could go back in time and prevent the Great War from ever happening. He used parts obtained from the Decepticons to build a complete series of time cases and used a link to the quantum engines of the Lost Light to achieve time travel. He went to the past, but the result was not as fruitful as he desired. Through a course of events, the time case was obtained by the mythical Necrobot, who used it to time travel further into the past and complete a paradox of his own creation by rescuing a team of lost Cybertronians. In Transformers Infestation, Issue 2, the extra-dimensional invader, Brit, was shown to be creating a time portal from assimilated samples of Cybertronian technobiology from Cup. She intended to send her army of zombies to the past to infect Cybertron, but fortunately, her plan was thwarted. Shockwave once again discovered a way of time travel, and this time it was by combining OR-1 and OR-13. He wanted to bring about the Dark Cybertron prophecy, but the only problem for him was to control the collapse of time and space into a singularity. Although he was stopped before his singularity could destroy the universe, his broken body was dragged backwards 12 million 
million years into the past during the dawn of the Cybertronian civilization. The last case of time travel shown in the 2005 IDW continuity was in Transformers Requiem of the Wreckers Annual. In this issue, the Tarantulas created a time travel device called Time Maze. The Time Maze was more like a weapon to destroy history by sending Overlord back in time. The Tarantulas made repeated attempts to destroy history, following which Springer ultimately gained access to it and intended to go back in time and prevent the Great War of the Cybertronians. In 2006, IDW Beast Wars continuity also showcased events of time travel, where Megatron, Magmatron, and his Predacons traveled back in time to prehistoric Earth. In Transformers vs. the Terminator Issue 1, Skynet was shown to be sending T-800 back to 1984 to prevent Cybertronians from awakening. 2019 IDW continuity had shown Jumpstream losing control of her experimental teleportation device, which ultimately sent her to a dystopian future where Exarchon ruled Cybertron. Now. The Rules and Limitations of Time Travel in the Transformers Universe Time travel is always backed up by rules and regulations, which also exist in the Transformers Universe. Their theory allowed for three different kinds of universe where time traveling would be possible. There was the first type, where history was immutable. Any being trying to alter the past is shown to be doomed to failure. The second type allowed past alterations, where actions in the past were shown to have an effect on the present. The third type revolved around the ideas of parallel realities. Travelers attempting to travel back in time ended up being in alternate realities or creating new ones. Based on these classifications, the different continuities belong to different kinds of universe. Some continuities showcase characteristics of all three universes, which often led to confusion. The Generation 1 cartoon continuity strictly followed the Type 1 universe, where travelers were shown to be merging with the history they visited, inferring that the past remained unaltered. The theories of time travel in the Beast era were shown to be both Type 1 and Type 2. When Megatron destroyed a mountain after going to the past, the image of the mountain in the golden disc was also shown to be changed, inferring that history could be altered. However, in another instance when Rhinox explained that history could be changed, Marvel Comics continuity was a Type 3 universe. There were several futures showcased throughout the series. They were the movie timeline, an alternate reality where Rodimus and his team following the Time Wars arrived in a future where Unicron attacks Cybertron in the issue titled On the Edge of Extinction, and a reality where Cybertron is destroyed. In the first storyline, titled Target 2006, Galvatron mentioned it to be a Type 3 universe. The 2005 IDW continuity was Type 1, as in most of the cases, the chronology of events happening in their reality is unaltered. When the crew of the Lost Light traveled to the past, their actions led to a chain of events that led to the happening of the Great War. There were many instances where the stories confirmed it to be a Type 1 universe, but later, when Perceptor fiddled with the Brainstorm's time case, he ended up creating a new parallel universe, thereby making it a Type 3 universe. Where, where, where are we? Time travel fan theories revolving around Transformers Rise of the Beasts. The buzz around the upcoming new Transformers movie, Transformers Rise of the Beasts, has risen relatively high, possibly because of the debut of the Maximals. So far, the Transformers lore in the live action films has revolved around the Autobots, who were showcased as heroes, and Rise of the Beasts will be the first time we get to see the Maximals share their part of the heroism with the Autobots. Although the trailers have yet to really mention time travel, going by the Beast War storyline, Optimus Primal and his Maximals were time displaced. They were from the future and arrived on a primitive Earth before the Cybertronian races, Autobots and Decepticons, reached Earth. Although the movie will showcase Autobots and Maximals fighting against a new fearsome enemy, the Beast Wars story did not have any such instance of an Autobot Maximal team up. This leads to a lot of new theories that could originate from the plot. Some fans believe that the film could link the Michael Bay movies and characters from the same, while others believe it is a doorway to parallel reality concepts. As we know, the Autobots will be arriving on Earth following the Great Cybertronian War, and their meetup with the futuristic Maximals could give them a window to stop the Great Wars from ever happening. Remember, Unicron might also bring some new challenges and engage time travel as its existence was also known to the Maximals. However, the potential storyline that could emerge once Cybertron's future and past heroes exchange their knowledge has yet to be unveiled. What do you think? Are we back? <laughs> 
Marvelous verdict! So, we've come to the end of our video and we hope you liked our content. Currently, comic book franchises are working on their multiverse theories, and the Transformers franchise is probably looking for the same. No matter how often time-traveling concepts are used in movies, it's an evergreen concept and will always be accepted by fans. However, it is imperative to have a solid, nerdy explanation for the time travel, as that is exactly what drives the hype train around it. That's all for now, but if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there, and have a marvelous day. That flying troublemaker was a pteranodon, the model for swoop, and you!